Welcome back to SGG. Two huge games today. We are playing Chelsea at home, then we go on the road to Leicester. Things have not been going perfectly, if we're being honest, and I really don't want this to turn in. I've got such big plans. We're going to play this amazing football. We're going to sign Messi or whomever, and we'll go to the Champions League final playing the greatest version of total football anyone's ever seen. I do not want this to become some kind of embarrassing Frank de Boer, David Moyes type brain at one of the biggest football clubs in the world. So let's catch up on what's happened. First of all, we played Rotherham away in the Carabao Cup. We were we were brilliant. Um, it's as good a football as I've seen a team play with this tactic in the match engine. Uh, there was plenty of rotation. I did start uh, some of the heavy hitters, Lukaku and company came off the bench, but I played with Sanchez, Marshall and Lingard and Arta. Because I wanted those guys to get used to those roles some more and see how that panned out. And they were just brilliant. Um, as you'd expect, it was it was easy against Rotherham. This Bournemouth game was an utter disaster. Uh, about as bad as we could have possibly played. Part of it's on me. The high line is a disaster against the speed of Defoe somehow still at 50 years old. And Josh King. And they just tore us a new one. Uh, we barely created anything. And it was just a terrible game all around. And one of those ones where you're thinking, okay, this could go... This season could go one of two ways. Either the guys eventually get the tactic and we kick on, or I'm going to moise this up and uh, I'll be out of here in the next few weeks. Um, then we played Sparta at Moscow, and this was the real, like, the crunch moment. If you look at the goals here, another team who just completely tore us new one. I had to take uh, Lindelof off. He was so terrible, and I brought Bailly on. I think that... Why is Lindelof's pace... Uh, agility, that's not, that's pretty good for a centre-back, but I mean, he just cannot play, he can't play on the half turn and spinning behind, I don't know if it's decision-making, whatever it is, so I brought Bailly on, things changed pretty dramatically after he came on, but we were, what were we, I think we were 3, we were 3-1 down, I don't know if it was, I think it went 2-0, then 2-1, yeah, 2-0, then 2-1, Mata scored, then they went 3-1 up, and it was just panic time, then Pogba scored, an absolute screamer, um, in fact, can I load it up and show that? Is it worth is it worth the time it takes to load it up to show it? Um, I mean, we're here now. We're here now, people. Um, just an absolute screamer. Another one of those situations where you're like, we're 3-1 down. This is a disaster. Uh, it's only going to get worse from here. I'm going to get out. And then we just staged a momentous fight back. This Pogba goal before half time was giant for us. Um, Alexis played really well. By I mean, I've been criticizing him, but he was just an absolute monster for us. Um, I'm trying to remember. I thought, he, oh yeah, hits it here. Bang, top bins. Stunning goal. And that's why he's just a true match winner. And why probably silly of me to even contemplate getting rid of him. So we fought back. You can see the goals there. Eventually won 5-3. 92nd minute goal from Pogba. Had another one. Berardi got his first goal. It was a penalty in uh, stoppage time to make it 3-3 going in at the half. And Quincy Promas, who's one of their best players, got sent off giving that penalty away, which we were able to, to get the comeback on, get the win. The big concern right now is dynamics. I mean, I don't believe this at all because we've got so many unhappy players. You can see three of them here. We've had more. We've had six Premier League games, six. And these guys are all really pissed off. We have. Let's go through his piss. Ashley Young was pissed. He's giving up his pissed offness a little bit now. Eric Bailly is pissed. Um, I transfer listed him because uh, he was annoying me with the way he was, but now, given how bad Lindelof's been in the last couple of games, we may need him for the rest of the season. Herrera's pissed off. Um, I'd, I'd let him go. We have enough depth there. Um, Lukaku's pissed off. I don't blame him at all. We just don't play a style of football that's conducive to him being around here much longer. Uh, Luke Shaw's pissed off. He's just stopped being pissed off. Um, and I wasn't. I, I want to keep Luke Shaw. I want Luke Shaw to be here all three years and to become the player I believe he can become and push Alexandro, ideally. That, I mean, what an amazing pleasure to have if you have one of the best fullbacks in the world and Luke Shaw's pushing him. And it helps with the homegrown players and all that jazz. Um, and, and that idea of building a philosophy and a style and you know, a football culture at the club, having a young English player in that would be brilliant. But he got so annoyed, he moaned twice already. He's, he started a Champions League game. I mean, what, what more does the guy want? Um, and so he's pissed off. And so I decided to transfer list him. But now he's stopped being pissed off. Actually, I'll just do this now. Let's take him off the transfer list. No harm, no foul. 
back to being a rotation player. If someone wants to come and buy it for 25 million squid, then I guess we'll allow it. But for now, Luke Shaw can say, but with so many pissed off players, I do not want to do any business in January, really. But if these guys get pissed off again, we're going to have to decide what to do. Um, all right, two huge games today. We, we will go with, I think we'll go with this team, Valencia again at fullback. We've had some decent rotation, which is why I'm surprised they're so pissed off so quick. Um, I think they just don't like me, which is understandable. I'm an annoying character. Um, just don't think they're vibing with the style or what have you. Maybe they all miss Mourinho still. Um, okay, Matic, Pogba, Renata. Berardi is back. He scored that penalty, got his first goal. The, the average rating has just been a disaster. Hopefully he has a big couple of games today. Let's go with this side. The Ligt has fallen off a little bit. Um, again, it's a speed issue on the half turn when balls go in behind. I know we've got the team pushed right up. I've tried in the past playing with a team uh, less high up, and it went uh, it went terribly because the whole team didn't press high enough, high up enough. If it's talking with words out of the mouth. The whole team did not press high enough up the field, but given just the guys we have, this could just be it could be a personnel thing, team to team. So I may try dropping that. Uh, for the Leicester game, because obviously Vardy in behind is going to be a, uh, it's going to be nightmarish. Okay, it's pouring down. A Chelsea Antonio Conte team. I'm a dope, and I didn't look. I assume they're playing the five three two right. Looks like it there. Um, we need a, we need a huge game. I'm not going to say it's a must win or any of that. Um, but it basically is a must win. <laughs> After we play these two games today, it'll be those infamous eight games of the league season. And it's not looking great, if I'm being frank and honest. So, two wins needed, four points needed, I would say. Um, ideally, win at home against Chelsea and then and then pick a point up on the road. Oh, great ball, Martial. Oh, great ball in, though. Is that Valencia? I missed that. I think it was Valencia. Uh, this Chelsea side, let's look through. Some guy's looking tired, Danny Drinkwater. We should, I think we should win that midfield battle. Obviously, Canty's like having two bloody players but if we've got four guys in there with Sanchez dropping deep we should win that midfield battle and then it's down to Marshall and Berardi to make the good runs somebody to find them um it's tough with them playing the three at the back We're, it's going to resort to us hitting long range ping as I can already tell we've had three long shots there Hazard going off oh that's good I mean potential foot injury I'm not happy for you, Eden. But oh, I forgot that we saw Phil Jones then. Oh, that that makes me feel more confident of our chances. Phil Jones back there, he can't track Alexis Sanchez. Giroud is about as terrifying a striker as you can play. The only strike more terrifying than Giroud on this game is uh, Callum Wilson. Callum Wilson scores every single time that you play against him. He was injured when we played away at Bournemouth, thankfully. Otherwise, it would have been four five nil. Close him down. Close him down. Nice. De Gea comes and claims it. When you have a world-class keeper in FM, they just come out and claim it as opposed to all the flappy shit that traditionally happens. Have we created any chances? One clear cut chance? They haven't shown that. One half chance? Didn't show that. Haven't done an awful lot. I think that... Oh, I forgot Rashford was injured just then. Ooh, Ses gone for... That's a... That's a move that I like. Oh, yeah. Play this highlight and then we'll make some substitutions. I'm thinking bringing Matt around. Just as someone who can create something. Come on, Dominica. Pogba finds Valencia. Whip it in. Whip it in. Great ball. Oh, off the post again. Oh, we've hit the post so many times in this save. Don't have enough clinical players. Let's do this one. Sanchez out to the right. Lukaku in. Complete forward support. This is becoming the classical change. And I think... Uh, let's give Arta another 5 to 10 minutes, and then we'll look at bringing Mata on. He could probably unlock the door for us. That was a huge, huge chance. They've had to replace two defensive-minded players. Let's bring Mata on. I know I said four points is fine, but this game is right here for the taking. They've created jack shit. All game. They haven't had a clear cut chance, haven't had a half chance. We have bossed this entire thing. It would be grim not to pull this one out. Come on. Don't give it away. 
Don't. Oh, did he win it back? Oh, I hate that. Great. No. I thought it was a great ball. Pedro. Oh, terrible. Go on, Lukaku. Yes! Atta boy against this old team. Pressuring up. Forced them into the terrible mistake. Pedro helping us out there with a horrific, horrific back pass. This is just brilliant. No pressure on him. Oh, there was. Brody got there a little bit. Just awful. Tell you that changed that that changed to bring Lukaku on. Seemingly every time you would think maybe it would be wise to start him in a football game, given the impact he makes. Do not. There is enough time for proper highlight. Clear it. Hold it up, Romelu. Hold it. Run to the corner flag. Bizarre pass. What was that? Tackle him. Oof. Lucky. Play him. Play him. Okay, that should be it. That should be it. Brilliant. We'll take that. We bossed that game. Absolutely bossed it. Oh, I forgot the analysis doesn't bring up the match stats. Oh, you press this. And then you press this. Again. Pretty good. I mean, that's... That's about as dominant as you can get against the fellow top six size. Eight shots on target. They created absolutely nothing. We had four half chances, two clear cut chances. That's that's about as good as we get. Look at this domination. Look how deep they had to play. This that's that's pretty damn good. Hey, that that's close to perfect for us. Is it an international break for the Leicester game? Oh, 14 days. Okay, we'll go away on an international break and we'll be back for the Leicester game. Okay, it, we've gone through the international break. We got this Leicester game upcoming. First things first, let's check this out from the international break. England, my God, they are going into a playoff against the Czech Republic. Gareth Southgate in all kinds of bother. Where's the, uh, oh my, this is, all right, how'd you find the groups? This should be easier. <sighs> oh, there you go. What a buffoon. Um. Yeah, Slovakia beat them. And so they go to a playoff, lucky to avoid the other big sides, I guess. Italy was Holland in there. But the Czechs, it would be with Holland, yet. Yeah. It'd be funny if they got bounced. Um, okay, let's go to this Leicester game. And Herrera's been injured. We've got some players back from injury. Marcus Rashford's back. Big Zlatan is back. I'm not sure how much we're, we're going to use him, though. I was looking at his stats before. And if a bum is the false nine... Because they don't have to use his pace in any way, it could, it could actually work out. So he has a chance. Uh, we've had more disruption in the squad and people being angry. Lukaku just wants out because if we don't play him because the style of football. He's been huge coming off the bench. I want to keep him here um, long term. I, I think he's a great change of option for us. But you've got Bayern and Dortmund chasing around. So um, what's this promise that I made? I didn't make any promises. He sure he said, I did not make that promise, Romelu. You have misinterpreted my actions there. Um, let's go to this game. Feeling good, feeling confident, worried about Jamie Vardy. He's having a great start to the season. I think he's got 7-7. Seven seven. Leicester are struggling themselves. Um, but I expect us to win. Uh, Bailly is super, super pissed off. But... He also has the speed to do stuff that Lindelof and Delict don't, so he's going to get more game time. And hopefully, just like Luke Shaw, just like Ashley Young, he'll back down from his uh, early season woes and upsetness to see that he has a future. Uh, God, some of these guys are coming back knackered from international breaks. Sandro, Matic, Pogba, Arta. That's a long old trek for those South American dudes. Uh, let's get a highlight. Boring, boring game so far. No one has had a single chance. Okay, let's clear this out and then break. Get to him. Oh, that's poor. That is piss poor. Right at De Gea. Wes Morgan should not be scoring anything that's not a header inside the six-yard box. Point blank range. That's really poor. Oh, close him down. Oh, what a great ball that was. Was that Ibor? That was a great ball inside the fullback. These guys just look sloppy and tired from the international break. Got to pick it up. Alexis finds Marshall. Cross it. Go on, Berardi. Oh, side netting. 
Are they going to say that hit the post? Then clip the outside. Come on. Here we go now. Oh, terrible Berardi. Gave the ball away again. And they're just knocking it around for fun. Oh, the, the ball over the top to Vardy is going to be on all day long. Someone close him. Don't put your hand up for offside. Close him down. Oh, my God. Kovalenko. We're going to have to find something from the road. Because we are just being shredded by teams on the road right now. That was just runners and fatigue and not caring. Um... Yes, okay, how about, let's try that, get Sanchez out wide. Oh, that international break could not have come as a worse time. I felt like if we just rolled from that Chelsea win, we played brilliantly. If we'd rolled from that game directly into this Leicester one. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, you are kidding me. No. What happened? Wait, 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 wait. What happened to De Gea on this international break? Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Damn it. I mean, we all saw it. Let's, let's replay it. Just. What happened? Oh, my God. And I was just... Oh, extolling the virtues of this brilliant keeper. About as bad a first half as <laughs> imaginable. Oh, good lord. Okay. This one of those things, look, by again. 6.3 has just been terrible. One week he has a brilliant game, the next week he's shit. Just so inconsistent. Parati, terrible again. Alexa's been terrible. We're going to have to go to Lukaku, who's bloody. Morale is abysmal because he hates me and wants to leave the club. There is no chance of turning this one around. Oh, what a stinker. Takes so much steam out of the save and out of the excitement. We played so well against that Chelsea side. So well. Dominated a top six side. I mean, it was only 1-0, but we... The way we moved the ball, the way we dominated possession, the chances we created, and they didn't have a single thing. Oh, man. There's not even anything you can do to really change it up. Let's bring Matt around. Don't have a great deal of options. Ah, oh, we have Rashford back, I just remembered. All right, let's do... Uh, let's do Matt. He hates playing as the Mazella. I'll have to play of three friggin' playmakers. Let's bring on Rashford, and we'll swap you guys around. It's about as attacking as we can go. Let's see if we can get something to salvage from this game. Just a complete disaster. Two terrible errors from De Gea. A poor defensive work. Letting runners run. Oh no. Letting runners run by you for the, the second one of the three. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Brutal. And they, I mean, they've. They've been crap to start the season. I don't know what happened to them on the international break. Oh my god, bye again. It's letting running behind you. What are you doing? It's that same ball every time, and they can just stare at it as it rolls over their heads. Gotta find a world class ball playing central defender that can play next to Delict for the next couple of seasons because bye just isn't it. Lindelof isn't it. Jonathan Tarr is it, I think, but we can't get him. Oh, this is this is really deflating. Even scoring now is going to mean nothing. Unless Rashford gives us something back from his injury. We have a bunch of positions that we need to change for our tactic to work. Got to find a new halfback. Got to find some wide men who can score and be consistent. Oh, Lukaku again. <laughs> He's trying to embarrass me. He scores every time. That's it. Ramalu. 
He shall get the start in the next game. Alexis will have to go wide on one side. Oh, God, that's fucking brutal. That is that's as bad as it gets. It's as bad as it gets. No, anywhere near. How is the gay at six point seven? He was at fault for two of the goals. And I don't want to bollock him because he's the best player in the world at his position. The only guy we have like that, and all these other players are upset. I don't want to turn the whole dressing room against me. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. And the next run of games. So, Olympiak has to wait. Not easy, but we should win. Swansea at home, we should win. Then Carabao Cup against Leicester again. Then we have the, the derby. So, we'll come back for that derby game. I'll go play is we've hit the magical eight games, don't lose the title in the first eight games of the season. I fear um, we may have because of just the sheer volume of teams ahead of us. Two points behind Chelsea isn't terrible. Three behind City, not terrible. We're about to play them. Seven behind Liverpool, six behind Arsenal. That's tough to overcome at any stage of the season. Spurs are on the same amount of points. Oh my God, Everton have a terrible start to the season. Yeah, really... Really, really not good. That that one hurts. All right, we'll leave it there on that dour, dour sell. Look at these results. Come on. <sighs> we'll leave it on that dour note. Hopefully next time is more positive. Um, that's it. I'll speak to you all next time.